Hello, friends, and welcome to Out for Coffee. With Mike and Lori. And Lori! Hi! Hi. <laughs> what is this? When did you get those? I didn't even see you pull those out. What? <laughs> All normal. <laughs> for our listening only audience, Lori has uh, <laughs> no excuse hands. for tiny hands. <laughs> They're just tiny hands. It looks so stupid. Yeah. Where'd you get those? Who doesn't have tiny hands? <laughs> um, <laughs> you need to stop. I can't. Uh, I got these at Small Mart in Stratford a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. And then Small I got. Small Mart? Yeah. What's Small Mart? What's Small Mart? You've got to go to Small Mart in Stratford. Not Walmart. Not Walmart. Small Mart. Do they sell things like small yeah. hands? Literally everything they sell small? No. Oh. No, no. <laughs> it's a regular size store. Okay. <laughs> But they have a lot of jokey, funny things in there. Okay. And I saw these and could not pass them up. I don't oh, no. <laughs> Between that and the yodeling pickle, you're set. Right? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, there's something okay. else I have to show you, too. Wow. Oh, no, no. You're going to have to... You know what? I wanted to say... <laughs> I you really, me. I, yes, right. I really wanted to say, welcome back, Lori. It's Thanks. been a long time, and we've really missed you. Thanks. Now I don't think I can even read those lines. It's just... Hi, I'm Mike Crabb. And I'm Lori Schultz. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. We'll have some caffeinated conversation. And maybe some special guests along the way. Who, Who knows where the conversation, conversation will go? You're, You're out, out for coffee. coffee. With, with Mike, Mike and Lori. Rob, these are not manipulative. I, I, I don't know. Manip malleable? Manipulatable? What? What, what is I happening? What? I can't even speak. I don't okay, know. I cannot manipulate these fingers, Rob, well, but if I could. Well, then you've been away too long, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> that was really hard to get that out. That was your... But yeah. you spit it out. You got there. Yike. I got, Yike. I'm out of practice. Well, it's yes, been a while. You, you are yeah, out of practice. Right. I'm out of vocal shape. But officially, let's say welcome back. Thank it's, you. It's Laurie. nice to have you. It is nice to have you back. Thanks. We really missed you. Yeah, for sure. So what, what's new? What, what have you been up to? I've been doing lots of things with tiny hands. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, um, I'm back. I'm feeling good. I had to take a little time off, deal with some, some health things and otherwise, but I'm all good. It's all good, good to go. I'm back. I'm refreshed. Good. Refreshed. I'm refreshed. That's refreshing to hear. Is it? Yes. Okay. I'm glad you're feeling yourself again. Yeah, because you don't want to feel someone else. <laughs> with those tiny hands. Not with the tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> Not without permission. <laughs> anyway, I'll set them aside now because they're very distracting. They're extremely distracting. Yes. Um, but I'm, I'm sure this won't be hands. the yeah. last time that we see Excellent. The, okay. little, the little hands. No, they'll be around. Next time, they're going to be playing the yodeling pickle. Okay, well, maybe we'll make that into a reel of its own, and you can watch it over and over and over again. Maybe. I'll share a reel I made. <laughs> I did make a tiny hands reel. Yes, it was actually quite clever. Thank you. I liked it. So, <laughs> welcome back to the show. I feel like you're almost a guest now. It's It's been that long. Ooh. Do I get treated like a guest, or are you still going to uh, boss me around like you think you run the place? No, that's you to the guests when we have Oh, guests. has it been that long? Did yes. I forget? I'm sorry. <laughs> It was very cordial while you weren't Oops. near. So. Yeah, what have you been doing while I've been away? We've been up to all sorts. We've uh, had some guests. We've done some live things. We, we did a few things. But hmm. what we do know is it wasn't the same. Aw. Yeah, so. Nobody's steering it off into left field, huh? <laughs> exactly. Right. It was so productive. Was it? We didn't know what to do with ourselves. You know, the episodes that's, that's were like 20 minutes that long. That is exactly the line I used. <laughs> I said, you know... I can't remember the last time I had to pull this bus off of the, you know. <laughs> you had hard, to pull the bus. That hard left off into the cornfield. Whoa, whoa, back us up. Get us back on the road. Jack is back. Jack is back. And, um, but uh, it's, uh, that's okay. We don't, we don't mind. We, we're glad to have you back. Oh, thanks. Yeah. What did you, glad what did you, I want to hear what did, what did you miss most about, about us? Did I miss most about you guys? The beards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to grow my own while I was away, and it just wasn't the same. <laughs> Stop taking the pills, and all of a sudden, was, the... Anyway. I was going to comment, but... <laughs> it, I, I just had a little I soul patch you know, going. I did, I did, maybe that wasn't appropriate, or something, I'm not sure. But, okay, well. Was all right. I again. shaved my legs and donated it all the locks of love. <laughs> 
I will say that this is going to be short lived though because no. I'm I'm very soon going to no. be in a production. I know you are. Of guys and dolls. I know. I will say. Are you the guy or the doll? <laughs> Why not both? Okay. <laughs> I uh, am playing the role of Nathan Detroit, and I am losing the beard for the role. I am keeping, keeping the mustache. Oh, no, you're mm -hmm. not. No, you're not. Just you wait. Oh. Nathan Ooh. is a sight for sore eyes. Unless you're Tom Selleck. <laughs> I can't get behind that look. Well. For, 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 for two weeks you, anyway, right? I will let you judge away. When you see it. You know I will. We'll, we'll do a, a <laughs> video of you just making comments about how repulsed you are of my mustache. Okay. Okay. All right. Just like a still shot of you. <laughs> yeah. Like a, a headshot, a black and white headshot, Mike. You know, with, the, with, with the little hands. With the, yeah. with little, the little hands. Yeah. Just, give me one of those things. <laughs> I don't have long sleeves to do this. <laughs> the chin on the knuckles. Wave the hair out of my face. Yes. We have really hit a new low. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that production's coming up and I need to uh, change my uh, persona to yeah. help meet the needs of the character. Okay. Help with the storytelling a bit. Are you excited? I'm very excited. We get to hear you sing in this one, huh? You get to hear me sing a bit. It's uh, a great, and it's the cast is, is wonderful. Uh, a lot of the performers in it are, are people that I performed with back in my high school days, so it's great to be on the stage with some familiar faces, mm. um, and, and very uh, incredibly talented people, and very character -y, uh actors as well, too. So we're having a lot of fun Good. Uh, with bringing this show together. And that's, of course, at Theatre Woodstock. Theatre Woodstock, yeah, opens mm -hmm. on uh, February 17th. So on, on uh, Friday. Yeah, Friday, coming Friday. right up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, if you want to get tickets, come see uh, the show. It's at theaterwoodstock.com. And uh, come on out. So it's a concert version. So it's a... Uh, we're. It's a lot of the mu it's the music to the show, right? Uh, with with small scenes in between to kind of tie the story together. So okay. I got quite a few lines. Oh, yeah, but we're having a great time with it. So you'll have to you'll have to like write some of the lines on a tiny hand, so like a crib sheet. <laughs> read read what I've written out, but they're get they get so sweaty, so it'll That's it'll true. run off. So Ooh, yeah. gross stage fright. That's exciting. Yeah. So yeah. I have that on uh, coming up. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Valentine's Day is also. Yep. Dinner for one. Is it a... Mm. Oh, no, sorry. Lean Cuisine toasted yeah. right up there. Mm, that filled me up. <laughs> Said no one who's ever eaten a Lean Cuisine. <laughs> I need two of them, it counts That's sometimes. Right. <laughs> well, that says it's a portion. For whom? Yeah. <laughs> According to uh, portion sizes, I might actually be a small family. <laughs> Yikes. According to the craft Dinner box, anyway. Okay. Can we talk about this for a second? When you eat craft Dinner. Yeah. Do you and Kevin like split a box of Kraft Dinner? I will say, Kevin and I haven't eaten Kraft Dinner in many years. But if you did, um, is there things with it? Like, are we having hot no, dogs just with Kraft it or something? Dinner. Just Kraft Dinner. We would probably be able to each eat a box. Yeah, you know? I mean that seems. I know high school Mike would dinner. often eat a box. Yeah. I would come home for lunch. I would microwave a box of Kraft Dinner. <laughs> They're saying something. You'd microwave a box of You only had dinner? so much time. You didn't have time to boil the water. You'd just microwave it. It worked. And <sighs> Rob looks gross. very worried for us. Are you that's... kidding me? <laughs> and it was... Microwaved craft Dinner. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. And it was yeah. like a regular box. Not those little, like, those little to-go yeah, cups that are meant for microwaves. Right. Right. It was right. The right. You just, you did what you gotta do. Um, so I, I would often eat Kraft Dinner back then, but we haven't had Kraft Dinner in years, but I do know the last time we did have it, it wasn't the same. It's not the same. The cheese is it's probably, I don't know, healthy or something now. It's not, it's not good. You think? Healthier. <laughs> you, you think? <laughs> no. I eat Kraft Dinner rarely, but mm -hmm. when I do, it's a real treat. And do you like... Are you a uh, put hot dogs in it kind no. of gal? Do you put ketchup in it? I do put ketchup in it. And you know what? I never used to. I used to think that was the most disgusting thing in the world. And then when I moved away out of from home the very first time, I just had this urge to try it. And I've eaten it that way ever since. Ever since. Ever since, yep. You don't know what you're missing until, until you, you try it. Give it a go. That's right. Yeah, I have to admit, uh, we will have craft dinner at our house. We being my wife and I, right? Not, I mean, not when the grandsons you don't are microwave there. It the, the grandsons yourself. love it, um, but no, we do not microwave it. No, no thank you very much. Classy. Classy um, classy. However, it is uh, must be served with uh, hot dogs, uh, little hot dogs cut up in it, right. and it's 
if I, if memory serves me correctly, I believe it is the one meal that my wife will use ketchup on. Oh. One and only meal. She will have ketchup. Wow. She'll put ketchup on the craft a... dinner. Yeah. But it would never touch the hot dog. Oh. <laughs> no, in our <laughs> case, the hot dogs are actually cut it, cut up and, and put it right in the... Yeah, it's I know, all, which would preclude all... it from having ketchup. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well... Mm. So growing up, my my babysitter, I think I've talked about her before, like episodes ago, um, Judy. Judy was such a great babysitter uh, growing up. And one of my, I can't say it's a favorite memory though, but one of my strong memories is is Judy's craft dinner. Um, It was famous, uh, maybe for the wrong reasons. Um, I think she would add her own cheese to it, Ah. but it wasn't what you hope for. It was like, we always joked it was radioactive and it would like glow in the dark. Oh. And it was like clumpy and it was like, oh no, oh no. it was uh, amongst the, the, the kids that went to Judy, still to this day, it is legend uh, in, in our lives. We will never forget the craft dinner. That doesn't yeah, sound good. I, I do recall one time uh, experimenting myself with a little bit of craft dinner and, you know, wanting it to have my own cheese in it. Look at you, uh, quite the chef over there. Well, <laughs> actually, I, I quite enjoy cooking. I, I, I like cooking. Oh, yeah? Yep. Um, but uh, I thought, well, we'll give this a, a whirl. And um, I, I must have used some kind of uh, block cheddar cheese because you know what happens to block cheddar cheese if you melt it? Like you put it in the microwave and melt it to turn it into cheese sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all the oil. Oily, the yeah. The oil rubs to the top, right? And, and I wasn't even thinking that. I just throw this stuff in there and I'm cooking away and all of a sudden there's this, you know, oil on the top mm. of this mac and cheese and I'm trying to figure out what this is. And, um, yeah, that was not, uh, it was not received well. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you not, tried it. Uh, no, tried I tried it. Live and learn. I tried it and. Probably tasted uh, okay. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I recall it tasting okay. Um, but it was not uh, it was not received well. Oh. Hey, if Lori and I were to come over for supper, sure, and you were cooking, what would you choose to cook for us? Um, let's see. Do you do you like a lasagna? I love lasagna. I make a pretty mean lasagna. Oh, yeah, do you yeah. put mushrooms in your lasagna? I was just going to ask uh, that question. I don't. I don't. I do not. No. Okay. No. Then we're in. I, I, no, no. I'm good either way, but I know it's a choice. Uh, yeah, it is. Yes. No. My my um, my lasagna is fairly middle of the road. Um, tomato sauce, several different cheeses, including ricotta and cottage cheese. Oh, and, both. Oh, yes. Oh. And a um, couple of different, like I like an extra old cheddar. Oh, yeah. Uh, just for a little bit of bite there. And some uh, mozzarella and yada, yada. And, and, and beyond that, s- sauce and noodles kind of thing. But, yeah, I don't. Now, I, I must admit, I had... Um, there was a restaurant we used to go to when I was working at the office, and they would serve lasagna, and they put slices of um, um, pepperoni, mm, uh-huh. like pizza pepperoni, okay. in the middle of this uh, lasagna. That was no, it wasn't bad. I don't know if I was so like it was that. okay. And it was just it was unexpected the first time you yeah. you bite into that and get a pe- uh, like a pizza pepperoni. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. Right. Like lasagna uh, with an but, identity crisis. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, so I'm here, and that sounds like some pretty good... Your lasagna oh, sounds listen, like it's pretty good stuff. I, I, I'll put that invitation out there right now. Okay. Well, uh, I you, will... You, yeah, the, I will the invitation stands. Said. Yeah. I will also say, Lori makes a mean lasagna, too. So I've heard. You might have met actually, your match. I don't know. I've heard that. We should have a lasagna off. I've never <laughs> made lasagna in my life. Have you not? No. My no. mom makes... Okay. Hands down, though. I, I, my mom makes the best lasagna. Now, a long but, time ago, when I first started making lasagna, um, uh, I would do the whole, you know, boil the noodles kind of nonsense. Right. And then I got onto the oven-baked noodles. Right. And, uh, Oh, it's the cat. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the cat's. What's going <laughs> on behind me? Out here. There's not usually anything going on behind me when I'm just <laughs> when I'm working at this. Anyway, the um, uh, so I, I got onto the uh, these uh, the oven ready noodles. Yeah. And uh, they're great. Um, you know, it takes a little bit of a little bit of extra time to yeah. cook and, and cook them a little slower and blah blah blah. You know, eventually I get the get the hang of it, but that's uh, uh, a lot less work. 
shall we say. Right. Then well, the whole uh, boil up the noodles. noodles crab. Yes. We should do a lasagna, yeah. exchange. lasagna yes. exchange. Yes, absolutely. I, I absolutely. have recently uh, had the lasagna from Nudes Pasta here in downtown Wilson. I yeah. also yeah. have had that lasagna. Oh, oh. and the best okay. sandwiches too, if you're looking okay. for a good okay. sandwich. Um, oh. Good places. So we're having dinner then. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I will bring the dessert, but I'll uh, forget it. Yeah. That makes, uh, makes a, for a great plan. I invited Mike over for supper one night, and he said, what can I bring? And I said, why don't you bring dessert? Oh, oh. And then... He texts me about 10 minutes before he's supposed to be here. Am I supposed to bring anything? I'm like, oh. Just dessert, but don't worry, I'm on it, Mike. There's a quick stop to Zare's <laughs> no, no. for an apple pie she or something and a it. quart ice cream. I went out to Zare's. Oh, no. I couldn't even oh, do okay. it. <laughs> she was on it. Wow. We had ice cream. Wow. It was a wow. wonderful right. dinner, so thank, thank you, you for having us over. That's, it was uh, really good ice cream, too, yeah. 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 Well, sure. It was Bartley's ice cream. Oh, yes, even was. better. Yeah. When Bartley's closes in the fall... Yes. And like their last day, they've got everything on 50% off. Oh, of course. Yes, to uh, clear out the freezer and whatnot. Yeah, I was in there. Mm, Very good. Yeah. I love uh, Bartley's ice cream. It's good stuff. It is. Yeah. What brought us to lasagna? I don't I remember what we were. Don't I don't know. What we were just, we were just talking about. Yeah. Craft dinner. I must, I must be. Yeah, craft dinner. We started yeah. there. Yeah. Craft dinner. I must craft be, dinner uh, with ketchup. That's I must all be, lasagna. I must be hungry or something. It's poor man's lasagna. Uh, yeah. Okay. Speaking of lasagna, and, and yeah. you know, I don't know where you guys were planning on going today, but let's talk about food. We're talking about food. So. Okay. Um, we had a chance to go out for um, Indian food. Mm. Uh, just fairly recently. And um, it's a uh, n- brand new place. It's up near the corner of um, Huron and Dundas. Okay. Yes. Right across the 7 Eleven. They're right. Right. three doors in from the corner, kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, it's a brand new uh, Indian food place. Wow, it was great. Yeah. Was it? Oh, it was really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had, uh, had butter chicken. That's my and, fave. Oh, yeah. It was really, really tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I um, uh, had uh, tried um, Indian food when I lived in Toronto, and I, I wasn't a big fan, but then I, uh, in Woodstock, Tandoori Night, I had theirs. Oh. Yeah. Um, it, it's delicious. Yeah. yeah okay. that's it's kind been, of it's had... been a while since I've been, but they've got mm. good stuff. The there, last too. kind I had was Tandoori Nights, and it was really good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But I don't often get to go out for Indian food. Hey, and speaking of food. Yes. yes. It was a year ago, because... Happy birthday, Lori. Thank you. Uh-oh. Yesterday. And it was a year ago, <laughs> on your birthday. Yes, it was. February 11th, 2022, yeah. that we sat together and we did our food tasting episode. Oh, my gosh. That oh, was boy. a whole that year's was, gone by. Yike. We blinked and it was just like yep. yeah. suddenly. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Um, and uh, I still often think uh, with fond memories and not so fond, the cat is pawing at the little yeah, hands. Yeah, Harry's trying to get the little hands. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, with fond memories of... Uh, Parts of it are fond. Like the mustard? Was that fond? I now go into uh, places like Tim Hortons here in town, and I'll maybe order a sandwich or something like that. And uh, we have some fans of our show mm. uh, at a particular Tim Hortons here in town <laughs> that uh, always make a comment of, are you sure you don't want extra mustard on that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm glad the word is out of how strongly I feel of such yeah. things. That's great. So what are we going to eat this time? Because I think we need to do a part two of this because it was a very well received this episode. I also understand. So Kevin, hmm. uh, who so graciously served us our food yes. last time, the cat is directly in my camera. Oh. Okay. I'm going to yes. have a fit. If, no, I'm just kidding. Let's go. Let's Come here. We'll just yep, make a little is. mouth move. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Nope. It's gone, um, gone, gone. <laughs> That's funny. So this time around, Kevin, uh, he thought we were too easy on one another because we had selected the food and and my husband, Kevin, served us the food. We didn't know what we were getting, but he was kind of in the loop for what each of us were getting. Yes. Get. And he felt that we were too easy on each other. No, that was horrible. <laughs> so <laughs> him and, and oh, possibly our, our mutual friend, Sloan, uh, had mentioned that they would very much love to... Um, be the selectors of such items oh okay, okay yeah the, you're you're getting into dangerous territory there no kidding. i can tell you like the red flags are going up no kidding the, well the band is playing in the background like i'm gonna end up with a sardine whoop, or something whoop, whoop whoop it's like yeah you, that's oh, okay. so Lori has like we did her her red items her like no 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 items but then she starts spouting off no you're gonna make me like a chocolate covered cricket or something and it's like don't give them oh, ideas oh, i still say yeah yeah don't let <laughs> what the, are you doing don't let that cat out the bag. Holy can we pass? We have to be able to I pass. I think so. Well, you know. I don't know if we could. 
Just don't we need do, a bar just, bucket just back. Don't do the episode. That's <laughs> basically it. Don't if do I, the episode. <laughs> if I couldn't do it with the mustard, I'm sure that we're there's going to be other Ugh. things that aren't going to make it all the way. So tune in. <laughs> That'll happen. Make sure you watch that episode. One day, I'm sure that might happen. It should happen. Can, yeah. So, yeah. You yeah. got big plans coming up this spring, so don't you? I do. Uh, I'm very excited, uh, Kevin and I. In, in 2020. We had plans to go to uh, Europe for our 15 years together. Five years married, 15 years together. And um, that went out the window. And we've rescheduled. So Why? Uh, what happened in 2020? Uh, the, uh, I needed a nap. Oh. So then uh, we have rescheduled. We're going to be going this May. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to uh, London, Paris, and Amsterdam. Uh, and I'm very excited. Can you bring me something back? Something nice? I'll, I'll bring you something back, but I can't say it's going to be nice. Oh, all right. Well, you already got the small hands. No, yeah, what I do else have is the small hands. <laughs> a baguette. Yeah. Have you ever, have, have you guys ever been? You've never been. Have I've you been ever anywhere. been to, to London, Paris, or Amsterdam? Yes, yes. Uh, I have been to uh, London a few times, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there, over uh, the years. Uh, the most recent, I guess, would be last summer uh, when we went to uh, Scotland and England. Right. And uh, during that trip, I was in London for yeah, a day and a half or something. Yeah. Right. And mm. is there, uh, was there something that uh, you, you quite enjoyed about that place that you might recommend to somebody to check out? Looking um, for ideas. Oh, lots of things to see, for sure. I mean, you, you really cannot go to London without making a trip to Buckingham Palace. Of course. Um, We're actually just right around the corner. Uh, our hotel is right around yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's... Uh, um, it's, it's a, it's an amazing spot to see, uh, even though the, uh, you know, the homeowner's not there anymore, shall we say. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think Actually, son moved in, didn't he? Funny, yeah. funny thing about that, That's we, right. we had booked this trip, mm. and then uh, recently they had announced um, that the, the, the I, I believe it's the day after we leave, Yep. We leave. The very next day is uh, the king's coronation, I guess. Oh, my goodness. So I'm like, oh, it's going to be busy there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't. You won't get near the place. Yeah. yeah for sure. So yeah. I'm curious to know what that's going to be like. Uh, yeah, I anticipate it being uh, a zoo. It definitely a zoo, for sure. Because, I mean, there'll be so much international travel coming yeah. in into the city that day. Um, Just be careful. But, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll see. So, uh, but I mean, there's lots and lots of stuff to see. Uh, per, for me personally, um, uh, I wanted to spend, last time I was there, I wanted to spend, my wife kind of laughs at me because she, I said I would go back in a heartbeat and spend a week just going to the theater district. Right. Uh, you know, like on stage, live on stage, there is uh, The Lion King. And uh, Tina, you know, the story of Tina Turner. Yeah. There's the Jersey Boys. Mm-hmm. And these are all within a theater. Like, you could stand on this corner and all of those theaters there, are there, 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 there and there. And uh, like I said, I could go back and just go to theater, a different show every night for a week uh, in the theater district that in is. in London. Yeah, oh. that's that's an amazing we, spot. We did already get our tickets. We're going to see Matilda, which oh, cool. uh, was cool. a story from my childhood, which I enjoyed, yeah, and, yeah. and the movie. Um, and uh, I, I don't know, seeing um, kids perform professionally in, in stage productions is mind-blowing of how... Um, yes. Like militant they are in their choreography and stuff. It always blows my mind to see how talented young people are on yeah. stage. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Plus, it's a fun story, too. Um, so we already got our tickets to see that cool. show there. Cool. Um, are you guys more like if you if you were to go traveling somewhere, are you uh, like museum people or art gallery people? Hmm. I'd go to both, I guess. Yeah. Depending on where I was. Right. Right. Um, right. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of a just let me loose in the city and see what I stumble upon kind of person. Right. Yeah. For me, I, I if given the choice, I would uh, I would take a museum over an art gallery. Okay. I just find the um, I find an art gallery is probably a little too static, maybe for me. But then again, that's just because I'm not into that. Right. But uh, a, a museum, uh, there's so much. Uh, it's real. It's, it's historical and, you know, mm-hmm. but it's real. Uh, and uh, I, I always find it very, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, and there's lots of things to uh, see and read. The great, um, uh, I was just going to say, 
what's the name of the, I'll have to look it up for you, but there's a great museum uh, that's associated with the university. Okay. Uh, if you're going to London. That's, uh, We're checking that's out. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah we've got quite sure. the list. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, you're going there's, to Amsterdam, right? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, oh, starting there. in London, on our way to Paris, and then over to Amsterdam. Are you oh, going excellent. to, isn't there like an Anne Frank house or something? There is. Amsterdam? So, mm-hmm. as yep. we know, I'm not a big book <laughs> reader, but as soon as I'm done my show, I just told myself I'm going to uh, read the book because one uh, back in 2020, uh, well, more specifically 2019, Kevin had read the book mm-hmm. knowing we were going there. The diary? Yes. Yeah. yeah, the diary of Anne Frank. Mm-hmm. Um, knowing that we were going there and that, uh, you know, I, I feel that's something you need to experience and mm-hmm. understand. Um, and so the second he finished and he passed the book to me, March 2020, I had my nap and everything <laughs> went went to hell. So I never actually, I was like, this trip's not happening. I'm not putting in that get energy it. right now. You probably get it in Audible or oh, something. Oh, I'm sure you can. Yeah. Um, but now that things are back on, when my show's done, that's that's going to be my project yeah. is, is give that book it's a, a read. Great, yeah, that's a great diary. Great yeah, book. that's an, a very interesting story. Another mm-hmm. one of those, you know, real history stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got book tickets so for so many things like... Like way far. Oh yes, ahead. yeah. So usually, yeah, yeah. Usually, that, that kind of thing you'd have to book ahead. Now, we, a moment ago, we were talking about food. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you're talking about food, um, a place like London, uh, you want to make sure that you uh, find your local pub. Okay. Okay. Because uh, at home, I'm gonna say at home because for me, I was born in Glasgow. I think a lot of people know that already, but but. I, and I always I always refer to uh, Great Britain as home. So when I say at home, uh, pubs are not just uh, to get a drink. They're full out restaurants, mm-hmm. right. and they have absolutely amazing food. So uh, you know when you, whether it doesn't matter whether it's London or Amsterdam or any of those Paris, any of those places, uh, you will find the local food. It's is uh, you know check out the the most local thing you can find right and uh you know ask your taxi cab driver right you know the little nooks and crannies yeah and yeah the, where's where's it where's the, the, where does everybody go for lunch yeah ask right. for the locals eat don't yeah. ask yeah. for the tourists that's ask right for the locals that's right yeah yeah so yeah. we're fortunate to have actually quite a few friends that lived there for for many years that have been able to give us kind of their you need to see these places sort of. cool and cool. uh some of them are a little bit more tucked away um so uh that's that's really good to know um because it's a long list, though. It's like, <laughs> it's such, like, yeah. you, you want to stay for a month, you don't got that much time. So we got to be very yeah. selective mm-hmm. about where mm-hmm. we go. But we're spoiled for choice, which is a good problem. Get some fish and chips. Get some fish and chips. That'll happen. Yeah. Mushy yeah. peas. Oh. No peas. You're not, you're not keen on mushy peas? Oh, okay. I can't say I've ever had. Are mushy peas just mushy peas? That's exactly what they are. Do they put them imagine, in like a... Like imagine, a uh, imagine a plate of peas, just green peas... And take your fork and Smash them up, sh- man. just turn them into mashed potatoes. That's kind all of. It is. That's all it is. Mushy peas. Yeah, that's not good. That's that is. I, I can but it's very, peas. very. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very common. Uh, it's very, very common. Uh, well, you know what? While I'm there, maybe I should just give them a go, just so I can say. Mm-hmm. Oh, at least at least once uh, try them. Out, so. Great. Well, now they're going to be on that food list that I have to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Maybe you'll get lucky and we'll slip it in before we go on the trip no. so we don't bring any exotic foods back for Lori. <laughs> Yikes. Great. Yikes. Yikes. No, but there's, that's, that is one benefit of traveling, I must admit. Uh, I love um, the opportunity to, to try different foods wherever we go uh, for traveling. Um, and in a not too distant future, uh, I'm hoping to get back to uh, East Coast here in Canada. Oh yeah. And I love fresh seafood. Oh, yeah. And there is there's is just nothing like it. Uh, when it is, you know, like it was caught that morning kind of mm-hmm. thing. It's very very fresh. And I found out the secret um, or or sort of the 90% rule secret uh, is that um, you know, seafood only tastes fishy when it's been frozen. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So if you can get uh something fresh that's not been frozen yeah uh it doesn't taste fishy like what you know that that taste uh it's it's uh it's what makes fresh seafood just 
completely different. Yeah. There's are nothing you, there's nothing like it. Are you yeah. a seafood eater? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. is there is there any seafood you guys like are like I know like mussels or is there anything? Can't that do you mussels, want to? can't do oysters. Um I've I've done them. They're not my preference. Um, uh, but I've um, you know, I've had them. I I prefer, you know, like uh I, I tell you what the, my latest uh, latest thing I found out I really enjoy is catfish. Oh. Yeah. Can't say we, I've ever tried. No, I I had not either. Until uh, we were we were served uh, this was and it was just a uh, pieces and lightly breaded and it was served as sort of part of a smorgasbord kind of thing, so you kind of try one and you know think, oh that's pretty good I like that uh, and it was the <laughs> I laugh or my wife laughed at me actually because it was the quintessential ooh tastes like chicken <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go to find out it's it it was catfish huh. and uh, it. it Again, n- no hint of fishy taste at all, and, and a texture very much like chicken. It was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. But again, it being fresh, right? That's the of that's the that's the key. The, yeah. What makes it? Yeah. Is there any foods that you guys that isn't typically liked that you guys actually do like, like a liver and onions or anything like that? I know you most of the way. I'm, I'm actually more curious about Rob. Oh, um, I'm not a fan of liver and onions, to okay. be honest. And and I'll I'll you know, go on record as saying is because that was a pretty uh, staple part of our diet as kids growing up. Right. Yeah. Uh, liver and onions was, uh, right. you know, all the time. Oh, yeah. I just, and I, I, I just, I, ne- I never really took to it. Now my wife, uh, on the other hand, she, uh, she quite enjoys liver and onions to the point of, uh, like, we won't have it at home because I don't, I don't care for it, so she won't bother making it for herself. Um, but if we go out to some restaurant that happens to have liver and onions, and um, she, that's something she would order for herself. But I'm just, I'm just not a fan. No, I'm not it's, really a fan. It's the liver. other thing, the other thing, yeah, well, exactly. It's all the other things. thing is, um, I'm not a big fan of squid. To be quite honest with you, okay. Having tried it a couple of times, no, I find, no. I find it's, a, it's a, it's a very. Um, uh, it's about the texture. It's like a rubbery. Uh, that's rubbery. yeah, rubbery. I suppose is the word. I'm, it's a bit chewy. So like, and and apparently, uh, if you don't cook it, uh, like exactly, uh, exactly right, uh, you only make it more chewy. <laughs> right. So right, you make it worse. Yeah. And uh, so gross. I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of of. Squid. So like a like a like a fried calamari at a as an appetizer at a restaurant doesn't appetize you. <laughs> um. Well, cal- calamari is not so bad because okay. it's a, it's a it's a bit of a different recipe. Of course, it's breaded and it's deep fried yeah. as opposed to it hides you know, some squ- of the... yeah squid on a plate kind of thing. Um, I don't mind calamari. That's you know you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't eat that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like scallops. Scallops, okay. scallops. I and really like. The but there's a, there's clams. another there's another uh, uh, seafood uh, that I've learned the hard way yeah, if it's not cooked exactly oh. right. It suddenly goes from like really, really nice, yeah. really, really nice shoe leather. Yeah. It's like just, <laughs> it just like a little hockey puck in your mouth. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and if you if you cross that line, yeah. even just a little, it's like. It's I mean, done. You know who's got good scallops? Who's got good scallops? Uh, Chris Seafood at the Saturday Market. Oh, Chris oh. the Seafood Guy. Yeah, oh. Chris the okay. Seafood Guy. He's got oh. some really nice scallops wow. over there. What does a scallop look like? Does it look like a mussel and stuff? Like no, I've it's eaten just one, a, but it, what no. does it? It looks like a. It almost looks like a big water chestnut. Yes. But does it come in a home, like a shell? Well, not when you get it. No, at the not store. when you buy no, it. It's I don't know. Commercially, no, not if at I've store. If I picked one out of the ocean, I don't know what they Is look like. Oh, oh, it's in a clamshell. Fleshy. Is it? Oh, okay. Yes. In its natural habitat. Yes. I don't know. So there's just a fleshy yeah. hockey puck yeah. floating yeah. around <laughs> in the water. It's like a urinal puck. No, it's it's yeah. Hmm. Don't eat the mint. Uh, That's right. Okay, well, we're learning um, lots about what we don't like, which is probably a bad thing because now Kevin well, and I don't like have a list. See, uh, this, kind of, this kind of thing goes on record, eh? And I'll yeah. deny I was even here. <laughs> so there's no proof at all. Bacon wrap scallops. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that's that's the best way to have yeah. scallops. Absolutely. I learned the hard way. Anyway, don't put expensive scallops in the air fryer if you don't know oh. the direct. Like the exact yeah. directions. Because yeah, you will turn it into shoe leather, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. I had a, yep. a whole plate full of. Just use it as yeah. an eraser after that. That's pretty much all. Oh yeah, that's it. That. Yeah. But man, I chewed them up and I. You could use like them. Like I paid 
twenty dollars for this. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna eat them regardless. That's right. Jeez. Yeah, the bacon was perfectly done, and the scallops inside were oh, not. Oh man. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You guys, are, you're just. I. I gotta. I think I'm gonna go and have to get some seafood. <laughs> it's time, eh? Good oh, old shrimp well, ring. you're just kind of like. Oh, mm. you know, I, I. Shrimp ring, I could take or leave, mm. and partly, mostly because I don't like. I don't like it cold. I don't like my fish cold, mm-hmm. like a shrimp okay. ring. It's uh, cold, right? I kind of know what you mean. I don't, I don't get it. No, that's not my... I prefer the shrimp cooked right. um, oh. a, like a variety of different ways. Yes. Uh, you can, you know... Tiger you can, shrimp. You can... Popcorn shrimp. <laughs> we need to cut her off. It'll keep going. Oh, that's shrimp. Like, yeah, okay. Let's let's just cut her off right there. As a matter of fact... Do you like the, is, the cocktail the shrimp boat? It is, it is time to cut everybody off. <laughs> oh, is it? No. Oh, Already? Yes, it is. We're just on the appetizer. Of the I, episode. I just got back. We've got lots of time. <laughs> oh no! Well, you'll have to save it for next next, uh, next episode, time? Laura. Yeah. Well, we built up but, an update. Uh, we need to go out for some supper. You're absolutely. Gonna, you Let's go. Tell you what. Lasagna. Let's just leave the cameras and everything right here. Let's just go, go get out. some seafood right what now. What about a fillet of fish? We're just gonna go through a drive-through. Mm-hmm. No. Get McDonald's fillet of fish. That's not fillet of fish. That's not even seafood. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Who okay. eats that? Uh, I've eat never had fish. Okay. Never had one. Oh. All right. Well, uh, it was a good uh, appetizing chat here today, oh. folks. Oh, Filet of fish. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I've offended him now. Oh. <laughs> Um, Mike. Well, Rob, thank you once again for setting up this beautiful studio here yeah, in Lori's apartment. Absolutely. I don't say apartment. Oh, here. I'm sorry. Your home. I haven't heard Meaty this episode. No, though. I locked him in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. but, but we did see Harry. Can we do a real quick pumpkin update? Tell us what's going on with the pumpkins. Well, oh. the pumpkins are... Well, they're... They're, they're what no we more. think they are. They're a gloopy they, pearl they, of ugh, on your front porch. Do, yeah. And <laughs> someone got into the bottom one. Seeds everywhere. Oh, wow. So I'll probably have a pumpkin patch in the fall on my front lawn. So great. great. We, then it'll be a whole new pumpkin watch. That's right. Oh, man. Right. All right. Well, okay. uh, on, on that note. Yeah. Bye, folks. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Out for Coffee. With Mike and Lauren. <laughs> and Bye, Rob. Rob. Bye, Rob. See ya. <laughs> have questions comments or ideas for a future show reach out to mike and Lori on their social media twitter instagram and facebook or email us at mike and Lori socials at gmail.com